Hi, this is Mike, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you my long term view and the current wave. Okay, so there's two things I want to show you, and I'm going to do it by showing you basically a little bit of Arius wave content. All right, to explain to you how I look at the waves and what I mean by when I'm learning how five wave moves and zigzags evolve, right, and the different ways that they can evolve. Right, that's the trick because there's a framework, right? So in this case, we're looking at a bullish framework, right? So wave two. Now, the same pattern occurs in wave two as it does in a wave B and a wave four, right? It's the same pattern in the correction. Okay, so there's no confusion. It's just, it takes time to get to the count that is the preferred count, right? So let me show you a little something. Right, so this is Arius wave. This is how, at the basic level, what a correction looks like, right? So wave A, in this case, is very simple, right? But there's obviously three versions of a zigzag and three versions of a five wave move, right? So at the moment, XLM, we can see that the wave D was expanded, right? So wave D here was expanded. Okay, now we're currently in wave E, but it's not your straightforward wave E like we're seeing because obviously this type of price action contained in this area doesn't look anything like this. However, there is a reason for that. Now, corrections can expand, right? So there's not only th three types of variances for um, zigzags, five wave moves, but there's also different kinds of corrections, right? The kind that expand, the, the kind that expands and ends for higher up above the previous impulsive move, five wave move, right? Or there's a correction that ends back at the end of the previous five wave move. And then there's also just a regular correction that ends below the end of the previous five wave move. Now, if you want to learn this stuff, I teach it, right? I'm just giving you a little bit of a sort of taste of what I'm talking about here, right? And I've never done this before. So what this means now, I'm going to show you a variance of the wave E that we're looking at now, okay? So this one here is a type one, sorry, type two weak five wave move, right? So that means that wave one three and five are five wave moves except it's weak because waves four and one two touch each other right they they they're, they go into the price territory and they interact in the, at the same level so it looks confusing right but it's not okay so for me it's been all about trying to figure out the first part obviously so the first part here quite simply put i'll mark it out for you uh, if I can get my tool. So this move here, right, is this move here. This here, this here. B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E. Okay? So that's the first part, right? Now, obviously, I drew a little bit on the chart there, but that's okay. Let's get rid of that. So that's just the first part of that move done. So that's one, two. What about what's coming next? We need to see three, right? So this is the preferred count. So within this wave three, there's five waves. Okay, We're on, we've only seen wave one, right? So this needs to break the previous low at a minimum for wave three to be considered anywhere near in progress, right? Or officially in progress. And then we need to see wave four and five. Now this is obviously an example, just to illustrate the waves that occur all the time in these corrections. Now, depending on the alternation, obviously there's a reason why wave two is so expanded. It's because the alternation will mean that wave four at the lows will be almost not even, not even visible right? It'll be so small because wave two was so large. And that's the thing about wave E's is they do this. 
So here, we're basically correcting wave two. So there's still time left for this to occur. Okay, for wave three to show itself. We have not seen it yet. It's a slow motion train wreck. It's in progress. Yes, it's happening. Okay, so that's what I thought I'd just show you at this point in time just to illustrate that what we're seeing, yeah, I totally understand what we're seeing, right? And there's no way that you can mistake this pattern because it happens all the time, always. That's the whole reason I created RS wave, right? A wave here, right? B wave small, C wave there, D wave large, E wave in progress. Until you see the complete RS wave correction, this is what I call RS wave, right? A set of corrective patterns that happens every time at all degrees in tre of trend in waves B, wave 2, wave 4. Okay? That's why I say there's only two patterns the markets create, five wave move and a zigzag. Okay? So for you to understand this stuff, I'm giving you a bit of a layout here. Right? There's more to it than this. So I'm only giving you away a small percentage of information here just for the purpose of highlighting this idea. Now, in future, if you would like me to show you these type of charts when I'm explaining any video at all, let me know and I'll see what I can do.